Hi guys! So this is going to be Miles' 18 month update. I can't believe that this kid is 18 months old already. How are you so big? How'd you get so big already? Mm. Yeah. So that is the video that I am doing today is I'm going to sit and talk about this little baby guy and all the things that he's up to and how big he is and all the fun stuff he's doing now. Huh, buddy? Can you say hi? Say hi, look. Uh, there you are. <laughs> oh, he's being kind of grumpy because he just woke up from his nap. Oh, don't be so sad. So, yeah. So he just woke up from his nap, and so I'm hoping I can hurry and get this done um, before I need to feed him, because he wants my lotion. It's, uh, well, the only thing I can keep him, that will keep him happy for just a minute. But um, he always wakes up so hungry, so I am going to try and get this done before he starts um, growling at me and telling me he's hungry, which he's already starting to kind of do. So. If you are new to my channel, please, I would love to have you subscribe and become a member of my nest. I would love to have you um, support my channel and be here. I love all of you guys and all my subscribers, and I thank you all so much for your support. So please, if you're new, just hit the subscribe button. I post uh, new videos every Monday and Thursday. So with that being said, we'll just go ahead and get into this little guy's update. Want some more? I cannot believe that he is already a year and a half old. My baby, how is he already a year and a half old? I swear it seems just like yesterday that I was bringing him home from the hospital. I just wish time would slow down just a little bit. Just be a little bit kinder to me and slow down just a little bit. So he just had his appointment at the doctor, which I did vlog. You will probably have already seen that. And if you haven't seen that, just go ahead and check that video out. It's just on my channel. I did a vlog of his appointment and just kind of a little bit of throughout the day. So anyway, you can just go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen it. But I took him to the doctor and of course they weighed him and they did all that kind of stuff. So I will just start off with how big he is. He is weighing in at 24 pounds, six ounces. So he's like in the 50th percentile for weight. He's not a big, super chunky monkey, but he's not skinny. He's just right in the middle at the 50th percentile. His height, he is 31 inches tall. So he's kind of on the shorter side because he's only in the 10th percentile for his height for babies his age. But that's okay if he's on the shorter side. Like I said before, Emma started off really small and she's catching up to the kids her own age. So he might just be having a slow start. Either that or he's just gonna be a short man and that's okay. The funny thing is, is they measured his head and his head is in the 90th. <laughs> so the doctor's like, he's just a little guy but with a big noggin and he says, that's perfectly fine because that just means he has more brains. <laughs> so continue on, continuing on with how big he is, he is currently in a size 18 month clothing. The 18 month clothing fits him perfectly. It has a little tiny bit of growing room, but not much. He pretty much just wears 18 month and it just fits him like a glove. I do have a few 24 month things, but they're still kind of big on him. So we're just doing the 18 month clothing right now. And some 12 month clothes, or like some 12 month tops still fit him. So, but mostly it's just 18 month. And he just graduated from a size three diaper to a size four, so he is now in a size four diaper. Yeah, so he's, you know, he's growing like a weed and he's just my little chunky little monkey boy. He is not doing very much talking and that could be because he's the youngest of six kids. So it's actually quite normal, the doctor said, for him to not be doing a whole lot of talking. He said he usually the average is you know, up to eight words by this age, but he literally says, he says mama, and he really only says mama when he's like super upset because he just wants me and then he tries to get at my boobs. And then, um, <laughs> or if he's just sad or just angry or upset, he'll, he'll cry mama. Um, another word that he will say is hot. He's learned 
how to say hot so he will like go over to the oven and he'll like put his hand up and he'll be like hot or if the fireplace is going he'll be like hot or sometimes if we give him his food and he'll go to pick it up and even though it's just like lukewarm he'll still be like hot and then he won't touch it until it's like cold <laughs> So mama and hot, he says a lot. And then he was saying, he was going around saying, what is this? What is this? It's kind of something he was saying a couple months back, but he doesn't say that anymore. And so that's really all he says is mama and hot. Oh, he does say bye-bye. He will say bye-bye and he will wave. Like his whole arm will just be going. He'll just be flapping like a bird, but he will say bye-bye and then like wave bye-bye. That's really about it. Oh, I lie. He's trying to say um, two of his siblings' name. He doesn't say Emma's name or anybody else's, but he does try to say um, Haley's name, who's 16, and he'll call her Haha, -ha. and that's probably just because he can say hot, so he calls her Haha. -ha. And then Marissa, he tries to call her, and he just he'll go uh, he'll say uh at her, and her name is Marissa. So but other than that, he doesn't even say daddy yet. I don't know, he's just a man of few words, I guess. He does sign some words though. He will sign more and he will try to sign eat. Um, so he is signing a couple words and I should like work better with him on it. But with Emma, I was having her sign all the time. And, but uh, with him, I just never really got into it as much as I did with her. So I'm trying to reintroduce the signing back to him. and. Hopefully, maybe I can get him to sign some things, even if he doesn't want to say it with his mouth, at least he can sign it to me. I will just move on to if I am still breastfeeding him, which yes, I am still breastfeeding him and I'm planning on going till he's two. And if he's still, because uh, he is not showing any signs of wanting to quit. He is still just gung ho like, I want my boob. I am a boob boy and I want it, which is fine, especially because it's winter and I feel like he's getting, that extra immunities, I mean, it'll just help them through the winter time. And so I'm not, don't have any intentions on quitting anytime soon. I'd like to at least go, like I said, till he's two. And even if he's two and he still wants to, then that's fine. We'll just, I just figured I'd kind of let him tell me when he's done breastfeeding. But for now, we are still breastfeeding. Sorry, somebody keeps texting me. One thing that we had to do with the breastfeeding is he was in the worst habit of getting up a couple times in the night to nurse, which I was like, boy, you are a year and a half old. You do not need the boob of the night anymore. So my husband and I took a couple weeks and we broke him of it. It was really hard. It was so hard. The first probably week, I didn't even go in there in the night. Just my husband did. And he would talk to him and say, you know, no more boob, buddy. You're a big boy. You got to sleep through the night. And he would cry, but Nick was in there. We never left him alone because I don't believe in letting my babies cry out. If you do, that's fine. But for me personally, I just don't believe in that. So we would go, he would go in there and comfort him and hold him. And the first few nights were really, really rough. And it gradually got better and better and better over the course of a couple weeks. And now for the last probably three weeks, he's been sleeping through the night. And it's been amazing because I, oh. I was like, boy, you're too old for this business. <laughs> so he is not nursing in the night anymore, but he still nurses when he gets up in the morning, when he goes down for his nap, and when he goes to bed, those three times for sure. And sometimes in the afternoon, if he's just having a sad moment and will kind of need a boob for a minute to, to be happy. But most of the time it's just a three times a day, sometimes a fourth. His schedule, he's on a pretty set schedule. He goes to, he goes to bed about eight o'clock, between 8 and 8.30. I try to get him down as closer to 8 as possible. Sometimes it's 8.30. And then he sleeps all through the night now. And he usually gets up anywhere between like 7.30 and 8. Sometimes 8.15. So he does about 11 hours. And then he has uh, one nap. And that is usually from like 12, 12.30 to around 1.30 or 2. Usually like an hour, hour and a half nap. And so that is pretty much his set schedule as far as his sleeping goes. Sometimes now if I have somewhere to run, then all he gets is just a nap in the car and then I can, I'll put him down earlier that night because I'm busy and I'm on the go all the time. So sometimes he just gets a nap in the car, but then he goes to bed earlier at night and sometimes we'll sleep in a little bit later in the morning. But that's usually what his schedule is most of the time. So that's really about it as far as just things of that nature, but just things about him in general. He loves 
some of his favorite toys. He loves balls. He's still really into balls. He loves cars. He loves trucks. He got a train table for from Santa for Christmas and he loves that. Oh, he loves books. He will sit and look at books forever and he loves getting his book read to him at night. He loves his bath. He loves his siblings. He loves to just play and interact. He is a very big mama's boy though. Like he if he is unsettled, he does not want anybody else but me, not even daddy, not nobody. So he is very much a big mama's boob, which it's okay because he's only a little one time and I really don't mind it. But he definitely is very clingy to me and sometimes even if I just like leave the room, he will like panic and follow me. But you know, it's, it's really okay. I really don't mind having him be clingy because I'm just trying to enjoy every minute of him being a baby. Um, I'm trying to think of what else is going on with him. No, he just, just overall, just a very happy, easy, go lucky one and a half year old. He really, I cannot complain. He's been such an easy guy. Oh, he's a very good eater. He, he eats very well. Like for breakfast, his typical morning breakfast will be like either waffle or pancake and eggs, maybe like a yogurt, usually a cut up fruit of some, type, some kind, or I'll give him like a, one of those fruit pouches. Um, but he will, yeah, he's a big morning, like a big breakfast eater. He loves, loves pancakes and waffles like the most. He just, he will gobble those up so fast. And then he, some of the other stuff he really likes are, um, he loves like grilled chicken or like turkey, he loves meat. So like grilled chicken or turkey breast, or he loves just basically any kind of meat, pepperoni. Um, yeah, he's a big meat eater. Uh, he loves pizza. He, yeah, if we ever have pizza night, he loves pizza. He loves like vegetables he really likes. He really likes green beans and corn. Um, he loves grapes and like watermelon and bananas and just everything. I don't know. I can't really like narrow it down to like a favorite food because he just really is such a good eater. He just pretty much anything I put in front of him, unless it's just a really strong taste or just something kind of out there that not even like an adult would like, he will pretty much eat it. So he is, he's a good eater. He loves our dog. We have a puppy. Well, she's seven, almost eight months old. Sorry, my hair is driving me crazy right there. Um, but we have a beagle puppy and like I said, she's not really a puppy anymore, but he absolutely loves her. This is driving me nuts. There we go. He loves her. He will just get on the ground and just roll around with her, romp and play. And he just has the best time with his dog. You could just see the bond that they have. It's so amazing and it's so cute. And there are times when I'm like, dog, you are just really pissing me off today just because she's a puppy. And I just, I don't really do puppy thing. I just don't, I'd rather like adopt an older dog, but my kids all wanted a puppy. And so I gave in and anyway, but when I see him play with her and interact with her, it's just all worth it because he just absolutely loves her and he loves him and they just have such an amazing bond and it'll just be fun to watch them grow up together. I'm just really looking forward to summer coming because he loves to go swimming and I just want to be able to get outside and I mean we can get outside now but we have to dress up kind of warm but because he loves being outside. He is an outdoors kid. We, have, we just put a trampoline in our backyard last fall and he loves it. I can't wait to get him out and let him get on the trampoline and go swimming and just go to the park. Just let him be a little boy. So I don't know. I just, I don't know. I can't, I can't really think of anything else to update on as far as he goes. He's just he's doing really good. Just healthy and happy and growing like a weed and just doing the things that most one and a half year olds do and has the same interests that most little boys his age have. So. He just fits in with our family. Everybody just loves him. The older kids all just, you know, baby him and help take care of him. And he just, I don't know. Anyway, I, I don't know. I guess I'm just a proud mother. <laughs> so I guess this is my chance to brag about him. These updates are us mom, us YouTube moms' chances to brag about our little ones. So 
Um, I enjoy watching other updates on some of the other moms I know through here on their babies because they're all just so stinking cute. So anyway, that is really it for his 18 month update. As far as I am doing, I'm doing great. Just still trekking along, getting the last of the baby weight lost. And but other than that, I just feel fine. So not really much to update on me so much as him. But anyway, I guess that, that is really all I have to update on him. Okay, so that does it for Miles' 18 month update. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and thank you all so much for everything. We love you guys. Hey Miles, can you say bye? Say bye bye. Show them how you say bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Wave. Bye bye. Can you say bye bye. Say bye bye. Alright, thanks for watching guys and I will talk to you guys on Thursday for my next video. Say bye. Bye Miles. Say bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.